Hey, happy 4th of July to all of my American friends out there watching. We are doing a bunch of nothing today because of Corona. So we are home. My boys are upstairs. You may hear something that sounds like elephants running around upstairs. It's my small children. My husband is upstairs hanging out. I've got the dogs next to me and Brady is currently chomping on an isle of bone. So you're gonna hear a lot of weird random sounds, but everything's fine. Um, our big exciting plans for today are to go watch fireworks. Our city puts on a pretty awesome fireworks show, but we are not allowed to frat, fratrin, fratronize, 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 whatever that word is. And we are asked to stay in our car if possible. So we will be staying in our car. We're just going to drive out a little bit. We can see them better and watch the fireworks from our car. That's it. I did put on a 4th of July shirt somewhat you know we're getting a theme my boys are wearing red white and blue as well and that's that's about all we got i'm gonna make a, a dessert for us tonight and that's it you know a little bit different than usually before the july we are in colorado so this is a huge shift for us for sure so i wanted to take a second and do a little reading wrap up and let you know where i'm at so far in the readathon if i finished anything do you think i have Yesterday was a good reading uh, day for me because I finished two books. Um, I finished Daisies for Innocence. I really liked it. I think it's a really good start to a series. There's a lot of elements that I love in this book. The Little Corgi Dash is one of them. I love that the protagonist lives in a tiny home. I love the enchanted garden that speaks to the main character. I love this like haunting kind of grandmother that is sharing her knowledge through like memories and there's a lot of things I like about it I did think it was a little bit slow but I think it has potential so I already own I believe I own the second one in the series so I will continue with the series but I'm not in a hurry to get going with that then yesterday I also finished um, and then there were crumbs can you see it we're having focusing problems my cameras acting up a little bit so there we go uh if you happen to have the audible escape i think is what it's called package uh, this is free on there so i listened to that while i was walking i like to go out and walk early in the early in the morn before it gets too hot and you know what when i started that one off i thought Meh, it's not so good but then as I got going I really loved it I ended up giving this one like a three and a half star rating and then the one that I just showed you on my phone I'm gonna give that four stars and a lot of elements to it that I enjoyed and many things that were different than the typical cozy mystery format I mean it is straight up 100% a cozy mystery and there's many things that we all love about cozy mysteries but the way that the crime was wrapped up and how it all came to to be and um yeah i don't want to say too much without giving a lot of weight because i think that would be very easy to do that and i've already mentioned that but i liked that element of it and i loved the dog oliver he is like he steals the show so i loved it so much i was hoping i could find a used copy of more of the series and i did a little search and then i realized it it's a newer series that's the first book in the series they just released the second book so I bought it I don't typically buy new books I do a lot of thriftbooks.com better world books um, thrifting books like at thrift stores so for me to fork over cash to buy a new book that's saying a lot but also you know what else I have a big stack of books that I have paid full price for over here I'm going to be doing a, um, a book haul on here pretty soon I've been I say I don't, spay, I don't spend uh, full price on books, but lately I, I've kind of gotten a little bit out of control. So anyways, that's saying a lot. The fact that I went ahead and bought the second book in the series and I'm not waiting until I can find a thrift version of it um, or like a cheaper version. And then today I started Caught Bread Handed by Ellie Alexander. <gasps> oh my gosh. Every time I read a book from the series, it's like a warm hug to my soul. I think this is probably my gosh I don't I've I've read a lot of cozy mysteries but then I haven't because there's a ton out there and they usually are very long running so when you think about it like that I've not really read a lot but I kind of have I kind of have read a lot and I think this one is my most 
favorite series. Is it okay to say that? I, I, at least now, at least at this moment in time, this series is my favorite. I love the way Ellie develops her characters. I love the little town of Ashland that, that all of these books are set in. I love how um, she has this great relationship with her mom and you're kind of watching them grow and change throughout the series. And the way she talks about food. Okay, I have this little part marked. Let me read this to you. How, what we've already been talking for a long time. This is probably gonna end up being its own vlog, right? Are we focused? We're focused. Okay, you ready? The coffee had brewed to a deep ebony. I poured myself a cup and added a splash of heavy cream. There's something so indulgent about the first cup of coffee in the morning. It's almost a spiritual experience for me. I followed a steadfast ritual of warming my mug in the microwave, pouring in the rich liquid from the gods, and allowing the cream to turn a lovely shade of caramel. Then there's the smell. We all know that smell, right? I cradle the mug in my hands and drink in the scent of the Italian roast. I could almost feel my eyes brighten as my synapses started to fire. Finally, I took my first sip. Magic, pure magic. And that's just about a cup of coffee, but oh, I just love it. I love it. I think when you think about a cozy mystery, like this book does all the things that a cozy mystery, I want my cozy mysteries to do. So I finished, well, no, 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 I didn't finish that one. I'm on, a, I'm on a roll here. I didn't finish that one. Okay, I'm on a page, I'm on page 132, and this is a 287 page book. So I'm hoping to knock this one out later tonight, if not early tomorrow. Then, um, if I have time, I will be moving on to Marigolds and Murder. And because I always like to have an audiobook going, um, I started Apple Cider Slang. Hello, focus. Let me hide myself. I mean, it's not like you really need to see it. You get the point, but there you go. Apple cider sling. And I'm really enjoying it so far. So that's where we're at. Things are rocking and rolling. I still have my Kindle. I'm reading that sci-fi cozy mystery on that. On, on that. On that. It's good. It, I'm reading it just a little bit before bed. The writing's not like my favorite, but I think the book is pretty small. It's only like a hundred and something pages. So we're just going to power through and it's fine. Um, yeah. I'll see you around. Maybe we'll go watch fireworks together later. Oh, the winner, so I gotta go first. 